Right, hi everyone, so this is example three, but it's our second vid for this. So it says a computer has been programmed to simulate the results of flipping a coin when 100 values, so n is 100, were recorded, there were 40 heads. Carry out a test to see if the coin is fair. So if the coin is fair, we'd expect P to be a half. So this here is my test stat. Right then. So x is the number of fair throws, fair throws, I guess. So we'll have x follows a binomial of 100, comma 0.5. My null hypothesis is that h naught, but p is a half. Now, it's a bit vague, isn't it, seeing if it's fair. So because it's vague, it's going to be two-tailed. So the alternate, oh, there, alternate, h1, p is not equal to a half, significance level, 1% 1, 1 significance level, that's small, and awkward for my tails, because it's two tails, so remember, the 1% is split at either end, so it's 0 0.005 at each end, a half a percent at each end. Uh, right, so that's that bit done. So, so my test stat, and I've got x is a 40 here now. So this is the, the one slight difference. With the two tails for normal, you check the mu against the test stat, and they decided which way to go. So that's a similar idea here now, but it's talked about it here. I look at the expected value, which is n times p, so that's 100 times 0 0.5, so I would expect to get 50. Now because 40 is less than 50, I do the probability that it's less than or equal to. So you can kind of check that with a two-tailed test. I'm on 2 minutes 18, so I'm okay. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 40. So lower, lower is zero, upper, 40, clear. lower 0, upper 40, n is 100, p is a half, gives me 0 0.0284. In terms of my conclusion, the 0 0.0284 is greater than 0 0.005, so I accept h0. There is not sufficient evidence at the 1% significance level to suggest that the coin is not fair. Uh, is uh, that's what we're doing here. So, so it's not sufficient, so it's not fair. There, you're saying it's fair, isn't it? So you're saying there's, there's not enough evidence there. Is that read right? Who knows? There's a U try, got faster on that one, three minutes 44 for that one. So, the only bit that's different is the expected part, that's the only bit that's different there. You work out the expected value, and so you're all right. 40, my test stat, is less than what I expect, so I do less than or equal to. I reckon that's enough for us, you know, for this one. So there's some questions there we'll practice in class. I'm going to do the inverses as well, right then, because remember the inverse is just doing the area. The inverse finds the critical value. Right, I'm going now, so I'm going to